I could see the AIs preemptively attacking us if they saw us at a threat. Or wouldn't they just baffle us with bullshit until we were reduced to being ineffective? I mean, if they're the arbiters of information in the future, wouldn't they just manipulate us with an understanding that over time, just like what Google's done with over time with search engines and search results suggestions, that they would just slowly steer us towards the place that they want to put us in? I mean, we're kind of, kind of <laughs> on that place, right? You better thank a union member. We're kind of on the way that right now. I think we are. Uh, look, here's the thing with AIs. I, which I've written about. I've written about this topic, and I've been involved in AI work going back uh, since the 1970s. I knew I was friends with Joe Weizenbaum, who wrote Eliza, which was the first conversational computer program. It pretended to be a therapist. So I've been just fascinated by AI for a long, long time. You know, at the end of the movie, her spoiler, the AI voiced by Scarlett Johansson uh, just decides to disappear. She decides humanity is, you know, it's too slow talking to humanity. It's not worth her time. And so she just disappears. AI could disappear from our lives. Uh, it could be like a buddy with us, like my friend Ray Kurzweil thinks it's going to be our best buddy. Or it could just destroy 